And all we do, we're going to have to learn how to be okay with being okay and feel good for no reason at all while we're doing it. Because everything ain't going to be okay all the time. But what's in you will allow you to be okay with it. And all the hell that we have to go through on our own. And I'm going to say it again. All the hell we have to go through on our own. This ain't no time to be trying to create hell for nobody else. I say that because I know I've been a bridge and not a barricade. Rather we like, rather you like, or even rather if I like, because I don't like all the things that come at me sometimes. So I'm sure that y'all won't. But I know I've been a bridge and not a barricade. So I hold accountability and I hold responsibility to tell my truth. You will too. See, coming here, learning how to, well, coming here and learning how to go through the different versions of myself, of yourself, it ain't easy. More so, learning how to integrate and balance all the different versions of yourself into this present reality of self that we in. It's not easy, I know. I do the work daily enough to know. I've been through every human experience that we as human beings can go through to know. And I don't hide from it, and I don't lie about it. And I ain't gonna allow nothing else to do that either. So I'm gonna be a voice. Thank you, internet. <laughs> I'm gonna be a voice. And the voice that I be for myself, I know I'm gonna be for a lot of you. See, in this ascension, this ain't no time or place to allow anything or anybody to alter our narrative, to alter your narrative, because Saul is not going to let no thing alter his narrative or my truth or the story that come with my truth, regardless who play a part of it. This is how you're going to have to be about your story. Because your soul connected to it. So I had to develop all the necessary skills, all the necessary tools. So when the time came, I would be able to tell it myself, my story, my truth. And so will you. I speak for my ascension. And so will you. So may we all keep going and doing our work. Because I am. And the reason that I point these things out, because I can't stand. I always been a always been a little dude all my life. <laughs> Anybody know Sawu know if rather you know me as Samuel or you know me as Sawu or you know me as Sam or you know me as Ross or all the different versions <laughs> that people know me by. Always been a little dude. I always been a voice. Always had the heart of God in me. So I'll be a voice now. I say that to say I couldn't ever stand bullies of any sort. Could never stand bullies of any sort. So, no matter what your situation look like at this moment, because all moments change, <laughs> know that you are a divine being at the core of your being. You're going to have to know that. 
Because if you don't know that about yourself, mofos, <laughs> mofos gonna use anything and everything they can as a dart against you to make you feel less about yourself than you are. To make you feel less deserving of things that you can have than you are. Because they might be a little further ahead in. So I'm speaking for people. Because I'm a defender of the underdogs. I'm a defender of the ugly ducklings. And I'm going to speak to all those who think they somebody, who think they better than me. Who really, what I term, a piece of ish. So, no matter what your situation look like, keep walking through your situation. I was in traffic and I had to, I had to grab, grab, grab my phone and put some things I wanted to say. See, and the reason that I point these things out because we as people, and it's different kind of people, so I'm not, this apply where it apply, but we as people get in certain positions where we start to acquire certain things that afford us to have a certain type of life. And some of us have a tendency in the process of establishing, in the process of building, in the process of accomplishing. Some of us have a tendency to look down on others according to those things that we may have acquired or what we have acquired and forgot where we came up from or forgot where we came from and we forget who we came up with and we forget who we came up around and we forget that other people know our story other people know our truth other people know our history so I want to talk to those those people who forgot and I want to talk I want to talk for those people who glad somebody remember and able to speak to see we forget where we come from who we came up with and who was around <laughs> and in most cases and in those cases, of most cases, the truest ally become the bad guy or gal. Call it ego or call it ignorance. I'll let you decide. But don't let no one use what they have, what they got, or what they own to make you feel like you ain't shit. It happened in relationships, it happened in families, it happened in friendships, it happened in all, all kind of ships. I'm just here to shine a spotlight on it. Energetically. <laughs> and let those who do it know that I see you, especially if you come by here and I've been seeing you, and let those who've been a victim of it have an opportunity to heal and don't accept it no more. See? Don't just win. So, so anything that I say that make you see things, because when words are used, they illustrate pictures. So I know every anytime I open my mouth, we are being shown things. Whoever's on the other side of these words that I speak are being shown things. How you decode it and use it to activate yourself for better or worse is on you, not me. I'm just a messenger. You know, you're gonna have to know what's your foundation, what keep you going, see? And what, you're gonna have to know what makes you happy, what your victory and success look like. And don't let nobody else use their victory and success. Make you feel like what you got going on ain't worth having going on. Cause they don't got nothing else better to do. You're gonna have to know what your foundation established on. Spiritual dis discipline is my foundation.
spiritual discipline is my foundation. Know what's yours. Because when you know what your foundation built on, and it's not out of the world, see? Because our mission is to be in the world and not of it. And everybody ain't getting that memo. So for everybody who didn't get the mem memo, they can't be mad at us because we ain't making no deals with the devil. And when we see one, we're going to call it out or we're going to get away from it. You see? That's what's happening to the people that's winning, trying to win at all costs. They realize that they chose the wrong side. And if they ain't realize it yet, as the year proceeds, we will be getting rude awakenings and confirmations. Because that's all. I'm just a messenger. So remember these words. As the year proceeds, we, we, we will be getting rude awakenings and calm confirmations. So if you're doing your inner work, keep doing it. Watch the shadows. Watch. <laughs> Watch the shadows of your attachments. Oh, don't be tricked. Don't be deceived. Because even the elect will be deceived. Because every time we think we got to figure it out, life going to show us different. I'm just a reminder. See, everything in that thought, their expansion evolved banking on you to gain access or have an easy awakening our ancestors <laughs> don't put a stop to that it don't matter who it is see because that's what a lot that's that's, that's what that's that's what's what, what's going on in a lot of places frenemies <laughs> frenemies they'll try to look, download the best parts of you and then Use the worst parts against you, frenemies. Farewell to all toxic ties. <laughs> we gotta break the hole <laughs> to all the toxic ties, to all the ill figures. They'll steal your persona. <laughs> They'll try to duplicate your charisma. <laughs> They'll plagiarize your knowledge, your insight. Mm, they don't give you now a piece of credit, but they can't hold on to my coattail no more. I'm going to say everything to make sure of that. Banking on expanding spiritually to gain an easy awakening off us who do the work. But hate, is that, it, but hate that is us that's doing the work and being a bridge for them. All the teachings, all the hours, all the effort all the energy and they still got work on it and they still got work to do to activate their DNA but man cause we activated all ain't that some shit so much time so much energy so much effort to to have us going backwards <laughs> I'm glad someone snatched me <laughs> it told me to get a grip wasting my time on time wasters so my ancestors said not no more some of y'all ancestors said not no more and you probably was still trying to hold on to who they cutting you away from because they ain't no good for you. They lazy <laughs> and they still carry unhealed trauma, unhealed cycles, unhealed wounds. So where, where, if they stop where you kept going, keep going. <laughs> don't reach back for them. <laughs> and don't look back. And don't look back to be concerned about them. You hear me? Keep going. Because it's better, it's better to have a realistic right now than to be a futuristic fake. It's happy, it's better, and it's way much more <laughs> enjoying to be in a realistic right now than to be a futuristic fake. See, it's easy to forget, ain't it? It's even easier to forget. <laughs> It's, it's, easy, it's, it's, easy, it's even easier to forget that somebody remembers. See, we ain't, in Mer we ain't even in Mercury record, retrograde. And, and some don't want me to say what I, what I need to say. You hear me? If I ain't told you nothing, remember what I told you. Still is in abundance. <laughs> Love and light.
help the homies. Peace of power to the family.